Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Kids. So today we're going to be looking at colors. So particularly uh, filling in colors and shapes. Now uh, all the shapes uh, so far have been filled with um, white with black outlines. Okay, now to change this, we're going to use the fill function and the stroke functions. Um, and again, that's going to be respectively. Now the values are going to be usually percentages uh, or parameters in a range from 0 to 255. Now 255 is white, uh, 128 is going to be medium gray, 0 is going to be black. So uh, we can think about it in those types of terms. Uh, now, um, the background function we've seen uh, previously uh, usually works in the same way, except that it's going to be a setting of, um, of uh, it, rather than it's going to be some fill or some stroke, okay, the back, it's going to be the background of the canvas. So let's go on and actually maybe uh, create up um, a little bit bigger canvas. Maybe let's do 500 by 500. And let's go on and draw the background and let's make it pitch black, so zero. Okay, ooh, very scary, okay? So now we can do um, a couple things in here. So this is gonna be black. Um, maybe we want to have a fill of 204. Uh, and this is, um, this is like a light gray. Okay, and so let's do an ellipse. Uh, and we'll do something like um, 132, 82, 200 by 200. And notice here now we have this nice uh, gray circle here. Uh, now let's go on and do another fill of uh, 153. So this is going to be um, uh, maybe a, a medium gray circle. So again, as we move towards zero, as we move towards zero, things are going to get a little bit darker. Okay, so then we can do something like um, ellipse of, um, I don't know, let's do 220 uh, by, um, I don't know, um, 100. Uh, by 200 by 200. Okay, and so notice here now it's this nice uh, uh, dark, darker gray in here. And we can do maybe let's we can do maybe one more in here. So let's go on and just copy this and let's make this a um, a dark gray. And let's move this um, 200. Um, and I want this to be darker. So let's go on and make this um, something like 100. Okay, and so now you can see here that they definitely get darker as they go. Um, so let's also go and maybe look at maybe uh, controlling uh, the fill, controlling the stroke. So we have our uh, strokes in here. Now, one thing that we can do is we can go and instead of this... Um, let me delete, let me comment out that line. Okay, so now you can see here that it's just, it's gonna take in this fill from here, but we can also add in something and go something like uh, no stroke. Okay, and notice uh, what happens here, okay, is that it turns off all of the strokes. Okay, and that's, um, again, we need, you need to be able to uh, turn it off or turn it on uh, respectively. So one thing that we can also do, so that's actually gets rid of all the strokes and it does this in kind of in a, in a loop, okay, because it's going to start back over. Um, what we also may want to do is maybe to get rid of the fill. So uh, let me turn this off. Let me put this back, put this back on. And then let me turn this to, uh, change this to no fill. No fill and notice here that it kind of just disappears all right and so maybe maybe this is better to put this at um, uh, let's do a background instead of that we'll make it maybe 200 okay and then we'll make this um, a little bit darker so I think that'll be a black no that's not going to work for us uh, let's do 
Yeah. So notice here now this circular one, okay, is actually um, clear. So maybe we can also maybe add in maybe add in a five there. So now you can see here that we have the three going. And this middle one now, since we turn this no fill, it basically is kind of invisible there. All right, now if we go on and we turn on this no stroke, oh, that middle one technically disappears. Now it's technically, technically drawn in there, but it has no fill and it has no stroke. Okay, so it just kind of, it just kind of just disappears on us, all right? So, and that's kind of fun, all right? So be careful not to disable the fill and the stroke at the same time. Otherwise, you're going to have this kind of consequence of um, things kind of disappearing. Now, maybe you want that to happen. Maybe you're making a game and you want something when someone hovers over it, you want it to disappear or something, and you're toggling that uh, uh, no fill, fill, stroke, no stroke type thing to get it to toggle on and off, and you can do that. Um, but just again, be, ex uh, be wary of when that does happen. Um, now let's also go on and actually start drawing with a little bit of color. So I'm going to go on and um, delete this and let's go on and um, I'll, keep, I'll keep the background as is for now. And let's go on and do fill of um, 255 by 0 by 0. Now here is the thing, okay? These fill colors go by... Um, R, G, B, A, okay? So red, blue, green, alpha. Now we'll talk, we'll talk about the alpha um, here in, in a minute, okay? Um, but we're, for right now, we'll just talk about the R, G, B, A. So this first one here, um, if we're gonna make a circle, this is going to be fully red, okay? So ellipse, um, we want this at what? Um, uh, 150 by 200 by 200 by 200, let's say. Okay. Um, maybe we want this up a little bit higher. Let's do 100. Oh, no. Three. A little bit further down. There we go. So now you see that this is nice and red. Now we can also go on and if I just copy this, I'll put this down here. Um, and instead of this 255, we change this to zero and this to 255. Okay, that means it's gonna be the whole color and I want this to be at 203. So uh, uh, red, okay, so this is actually R, G, B, A, sorry. Red, green, blue, alpha. So here we have this green and then we can go on and do the same thing again in here, but instead of 250 there, we have 255 here. And we want this to be at 303. So notice here, now we have this red, green, blue, uh, R, G, B, and then we'll work on the transparency later on. And so you can do this with anything you want it to be filled with, okay? You can do rectangles, circles, squares, triangles, polygons, wh whatever you want, okay? And we can even, later on in the series, we'll be doing um, odd shapes, okay? So we may be making some dinosaurs or something like that, and we can we can change that up to give it different types of coloring. So uh, now this is using our RGB color scheme, okay? Now again, I'm gonna review this a little bit. Using this fill, we're going to fill in the color itself. Okay, now 255 gives it the whole color. Okay, so again, it can be set from zero to 255. Um, now, um, again, we can have these ranges. So again, this is the same way we had with the gray values, okay? Now, these three numbers are going to be nice because you can also do this with the background. You can do this with the uh, stroke as well as the fill. Okay, so again, we can also add in in those stroke colors as well. We'll, we'll do that maybe in, uh, you know what, we can, we can do that now. So let's do something like stroke, um, stroke zero, zero, 255 to give it a blue hue. Here, notice you can kind of see that hue and maybe we want to um, say um, uh, stroke rate of 20. So notice now they're nice and big and blue. And maybe, for example, we'll change this um, uh, this stroke here 
stroke here to be um, I don't know pink and then we can also change uh, this uh, stroke here up oh, and remember this is green this is blue and maybe here we'll do 255 as well so notice here now we can have all of these different colors we can change their strokes as well um, now let's go on and talk about the um, opacity okay uh, and be able to kind of um, play with that and so the transparency or the alpha okay so uh, I'll keep that RGB there so let's do something and I want to get rid of um, the stroke so no stroke Uh, and I want this to be, let's give this an actual color this time. So 200 by 200 by 200. Um, that gives us a little bit of a gray background. I want uh, Let's make it a little bit more on the red side. Let's give this a 20. Uh... So now it's kind of a salmon color, and maybe maybe we'll lower these down. This would be 100, and this is a 100. There we go. So now kind of a little bit more of a salmon color in there. Um, and let's go on and give us, um, we'll give ourselves a couple ellipses. So uh, 140 by 100 by 200 by 200. Um, and I'm going to go on and make a couple of these. And we'll make this at 200. We'll make this one at 300. And so let's go on and add in some fills in there. So fill in here, and we'll some do something like um, uh, 255 by zero by zero. And so that gives us red. Now what we want in here is to make it um, kind of transparent. So let's give it some, make it very transparent. 200 um, and you know what this we need to make something a little bit less chaotic here um, you know what there we're just gonna do white for now okay so that you can see this um, transparency in action so uh, red green blue alpha so this alpha, the higher that number is, okay, um, is going to be uh, the less about amount of the transparency. Let's go on and do another fill here. Um, then we'll do, let's get rid of this, 255, and we'll make this be 255 for green. And we want this to be something like, hmm, well, let's go on, let's go on and just fill these up real quick and see what we can do. Um, okay, so if we, let's say that I turn this to zero for now. Notice the transparency, is it's completely gone, okay? It's basically invisible. So let's go on and start adding tin in there. So it's very, very light. We add in maybe another zero in there and it's a little bit lighter. So then maybe let's make these, you want them to be nice and light colored, their fills. So then they look, um, so you can completely see through them. Maybe you're wanting to do some sort of Venn diagram later on or anything else. And you can just play with this. So again, the, the higher that number is, so if I put it to uh, 150, notice it gets really, really uh, uh, um, opaque. Okay, so you can't really quite see through it. So but that, that zero again is gonna be invisible, completely transparent. Um, now, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's, it's disappearing, okay? Remember, if I turn this back to zero, it's not gone. It just doesn't have a fill, okay? So if I turn off this uh, no stroke, notice it's still there, okay? Um, so, but again, we can always add in some light coloration to it. And this is nice, too, because you can always add in um, a lot of different types of features in there. Because you can see here, like if... Um, I, maybe I make this, um, no, I keep, I'll keep transparency, but it'll make it low. Okay. Um, 80. 
notice it, we can kind of change the coloration here. So this one's almost like a purple, now it's a dark blue. This one was definitely an orange, and then it kind of with that transparency, it definitely starts turning into uh, some like of a moss color. So you can always do this to kind of blend colors and shapes as well, which is kind of fun. So if you guys like this, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.